This is Quran. And this is an explanation of the Quran. This is Surah 7 verse 31. And by the way, I can show you in many verses in the Quran that those verses, they came for this purpose. In this Surah, if we go to the, explana uh, the, the translation, uh, uh, you know, the translation it says that every human being should take your decoration when you go. Your beautiful apparel at every time and the place of prayer. Okay, what does that mean? Wear your beautiful apparel at every time and the place of a prayer. Let us go back to the explanation to see what does that mean exactly. You see, we don't explain Quran, we read Muslims' explanation. And the Muslim explanation will tell us about what this means. And here it says, and this is, was an order for every mankind. And it mean, or it meant to go to those people, the Arab, who used to go around the Kaaba totally naked. Totally naked. This is Al Qurtubi. If you go to Al Ibn Kathir, you will see it's saying the same. If you go to Al Jalalain, you will see it's saying the same. So now the question. The black stone looks like a vagina. We have a proof that people walk naked around the Kaaba, kissing that black stone, which is an idol for them as God of a vagina. And after that, they go and they do sexual relationship, mixed sexual, like you go there. And until now, by the way, all, all the Hajj exactly is as what those people used to do before Islam. Those people who used, who used to worship the vagina, they used to do exactly what the Muslims are doing now. Until now, Muslims are not allowed to wear an underwear when they go around the Kaaba. You will see Muslims wearing a sheet, but they are naked. They are wearing no clothes. No clothes. You will see the man showing all of his chest, and he is wearing no underwear, and the women too. She is not allowed to wear an underwear. No lingerie, no bra, nothing. You cannot wear it. Now, why? Except those who have been called Al-Homs of Quraysh. And they used to walk around the Kaaba as they are baby born, which means totally naked. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Let me make the picture bigger. Okay, here we go. The text is better now. Sahih al-Bukhari, the book of 681, sorry, the book of Hadith number 6819. The chapter name, the forbidding of the prophet of what he never forbid, which means don't forbid what the prophet he uh, uh, he forbid, like if uh, he didn't forbid, which means if the prophet he never forbid something, you don't make your own order. In here, you will see that the prophet of Islam. A man is talking to him and talking about having sex with women in the Hajj time. They are doing Umrah. And he said to the Prophet, The Prophet allowed us and he did not forbid us from doing the, the, the following to do bang bang to our women. I don't want to use the F word. And when we arrive to Arafah, our penis is dropping sperm. Bukhari 1.229 Narrated, Aisha, I used to wash the traces of semen from the clothes of the Prophet. He used to go for prayers while traces of water were still on it. So they are doing this around the Kaaba when they are moving around the Kaaba, when they are worshipping the Kaaba, when they are doing the Umrah. In the process of the Umrah, they are having sex with their women and even they are walking in the street and their penis is dro dropping sperm. And this is the Hadith, this is your official government website of Saudi Arabia. And we can show you too that in the time of the Prophet, people they used to walk totally naked around the Kaaba. So here we showed you the first one, 
talking about having sex with women around the Kaaba and not only that doing them from their back because until that time it was not forbidden for them to do bang bang for their women from their behind and it was not forbidden actually because the Quran saying Nisa'akum hartun lakum your women is the same as the ground you dig in the location you like this is a verse in the Quran so in here you will see a man talking about when they are doing Hajj or doing Umrah they are doing bang bang with a lot of women and their penis is dropping sperm and he's talking to the Prophet and saying it's not forbidding to have sex around the Kaaba let us go and see the naked women around the naked women and men totally naked around the Kaaba here we go this is the book of Sahih Muslim the book name is Al Hajj the chapter name about standing and saying the God of Islam saying do what people used to do and come from where people used to come which in here saying showing you that the Quran is just took what the infidels and the pagans used to do the same exactly before Islam exactly the way they go around the Kaaba they used everything and in here listen carefully this is hadith number 21, this is Sahih Muslim very authentic approved hadith this is official government website of Saudi Arabia so nobody can say to me this is a Christian website it says the Arab people used to go and walk around the Kaaba Urat totally naked and they used to do it women and men and they don't go from Muzdalifa until they are doing what they need to do you know what I mean and in here you will see your God Allah saying that which mean Allah approve what they were doing here we go if you click in here you will go to the verse of the Quran and you will see it in your own eyes and you will see that's your God Allah approve such a filthy thing like this and this is a verse in the Quran this is surah 2 verse 199 if you go to the explanation of Ibn Kathir or you you know you can you can choose the one you want this is Ibn Kathir you can go there and you will see that people use really to go and walk totally naked around the Kaaba and it wasn't a shame it was something good and Muhammad he never forbid that it was Umar al-Khattab after the Prophet of Islam he died he forbid that from happening this is Ibn Kathir and you will see in here that's what Muhammad did exactly what the people who worship the private part of the women did before and they used to walk totally naked and they do the Muzdalifa etc everything so he copied what those people used to do he approved it walking around the Kaaba naked is Baal worship at its core which uses sexual acts by male and female temple prostitutes to rouse Baal, who then would eject rain to make Mother Earth fertile and crops abundant. 